gentlemen, at this time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Tonight's anthem is performed by the RHS Pep Band. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rochester Community High School for tonight's non-conference matchup between the visiting Plymouth Lady Trovers and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups. First for Plymouth, coming in with a record of six wins against eight losses. At guard, a five-foot, six-inch junior, number two, Maddie Sullivan. At guard, a five foot four inch junior, number five, Lena Jones. At a forward, a five foot eight inch junior, number 10, Sophie Miller. At guard, a five foot two inch junior, number 12, Tinley Hans. And at forward, a five foot eight inch senior, number 30, Riley Mann. The Pilgrims are coached by Michaela Shaliel, assisted by Tony Box, Rick Stiles, and Brandy Sullivan. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lady Zebras. Coming in at a record of nine and seven. At guard, a freshman, Number two, Aubrey Wilson. At guard, a junior wearing number three, Riley Clevenger. At a forward, a freshman, number 15, Jaden Field. At forward, a junior, number 25, Audrey Bollinger. And at guard, a junior, number 33, Ella McCarter. Your Zebras are coached by Joel Burris, assisted by Jake Nye, Nate Basham, and Joe McCarter. Tonight's officials, Craig Hershey, Justin Fall, and Trent Long. And also, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is free popcorn night. Visit the concession stand at your convenience and grab some free popcorn. He has a unique view of this game. He coached, <laughs> he coached this Rochester group of juniors when they were freshmen, but he... Of course, his daughter played at Bremen with Michaela Shalyol. McCarter and Miller jump it. Zebras control the tip, and we're underway here at Rochester High School. Zebras have it. 
Top of the key is Wilson. They go right side now to McCarter. Ella, couple dribbles into the paint, kicks it back out to Clevenger. Three on the way, left wing for Clevenger. Short, and the rebound comes away to Gantz. Gantz looks to push ahead to Jones. Jones has it back to Gantz. Now top of the key. They go left side now to Gantz. Now to Jones. Jones will reset the offense. 30 seconds gone by here in the opening quarter. Right side over to Gantz. Gantz gets a screen by Miller. Now to Jones. Back to Gantz. Top of the key. Zebra's in that 2-3 zone. Plymouth right now keeping everything on the left-hand side. They come to Sullivan. Down in the corner. She'll dribble it back up, and we get a carry. And the first turnover of the ball game for the Plymouth Pilgrims. I'm not sure what was going on there. They kept the ball on one side. Miller was open yeah. and was kind of asking for the ball, and she didn't get it to her. 45 seconds gone by. We're still scoreless here at Rochester High School. McCarter has it for the Zebras on the right, left side. Jumper on the way. It's an air ball, and it'll go out of bounds. Plymouth basketball. Is it me or does Ella shoot better on the road than <laughs> she is at home? It's, she has this year, it seems like. Yeah. Here's Plymouth with the basketball. They go right side now over to Gantz. Gantz to Miller. Kicks it back out. Here's Jones from the corner. Three ball on the way. It's an air ball. The Carter picks up the rebound, and she'll push. Minute gone by in the first quarter. Zebras have it. McCarter down low. Turnaround jumper by Field. No good. The rebound battled for it, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll go back to Plymouth as the alternating possession arrow in favor of the Zebras. But you saw Jaden Field very aggressive. I mean, she touches the ball. She goes up right away. I, I think you're seeing a change in mindset yeah. for Jaden. You just, just watching her body language, she just seems to want the ball more now. Gantz with the basketball now down in the corner to Jones. Jones. Looks for something in the corner. I'll have to bring it back out. They're coming to the near side now over to Sullivan. Sullivan looking for uh, Miller down low. Can't get it to her. Back over to Jones. Jones cross court pass to Gantz. Now back up to Sullivan. They bring it to the right side now to, to Jones. Jones trying to go down low to man. They can't get it to her, so they bring it around the corner. Three on the way by Gantz and a foul coming. And I believe it's going to put him at the line shooting three. And that foul was on McCarter. And that's her first, team first of the quarter. And that'll put an opportunity for Plymouth to shoot three free throws. Tinley Gantz has an opportunity. 6-12 to go here in the open quarter. We're still scoreless. First free throw is good, and Plymouth takes a 1-0 lead. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Here from Rochester High School, non-conference basketball. Second free throw is good. She's got another one. Plymouth with a 2-0 lead. Gantz has a third opportunity to take a big lead here, 3-0. With 6-12 remaining on the clock. Both, all three free throws good for Tinley Gantz. 3-0 Plymouth. Here comes the Zebras. Wilson with the basketball. She'll bring it across the timeline. She'll look to get trapped in the corner. She gives it off to Clevenger. She'll have to dribble it out. Back to the top. She spins, goes back to the right side, down to Bollinger, back over to Clevenger. Up top to McCarter. McCarter penetrates, looks to Bollinger. Bollinger, spin move at the block, goes up too hard, and the rebound comes away to Jones. Jones with the basketball, looks ahead to Sullivan. They push, down low to Miller. Miller, double teamed at the block, loses it, and picked up by Clevenger. I think it was McCarter with a strip, or maybe Bollinger with a strip. Clevenger, coast to coast, up and good. Riley, Riley Clevenger. Clevenger with her first points of the contest, and it's a 3-2 Plymouth lead. Quickly down Sullivan, right in front of the Zebra bench, goes over the top to Miller, and a foul coming on Wilson as she tries to go over the top. And that's going to be her first, team second. Scoreboard brought to you this evening by Rochester Glass for all your glass needs, and by King's Jewelry, your hometown jeweler in 1987, where sparkle matters in downtown Plymouth. And if you think Riley Clevenger is just a three-point shooter, she's more than that, and has really been developing her game. They go into Plymouth, into Miller, knocked away, picked back up by Gantz. Gantz has it. Now the top, the key to Jones. Bollinger Jones. might have gotten away with one there. Jones right side, Sullivan, deep three off the front of the iron, no good, rebound McCarter. Strong rebound by Ella. 3-2, five to go here in the first. McCarter pushes, leaves it for Clevenger, now to Wilson. Wilson around the screen, into the paint, kicks it back out to Field. Field swings it back up top to McCarter, and they'll reset under five to go. Plymouth started the game in a 1-3-1. They're now in a man. Not Coach Shalio likes to mix it up. Yeah. McCarter has it into the paint. M-A-N, not M-A-N-N. <laughs> yeah. 
And McCarter with a nice move in the paint over the top of Riley Mann, and Zebras take a one-point lead, 4-3. to three. Well, that is sweet by Ella McCarter. Here is Miller with the basketball, or excuse me, that, yeah, that's Miller with the basketball. Now to Jones, now to Gantz. Gantz, back to Miller at the block against McCarter. They kick it out to Jones. She'll bring it back to Gantz. Gantz, right back to Jones, left side, into Miller against Bollinger. They kick it out opposite to Sullivan. Three on the way for her, way off the mark. And it'll be Zebra basketball with a one-point lead, four to three. Sullivan's had a couple open looks, but she just doesn't look very comfortable. She's like about a yeah. foot past where she really wants to shoot it. She'll sit down, and Elena Allen will come in for Plymouth. Allen, a 5'4 sophomore. And that's no big surprise. Allen usually comes in yeah. pretty early in the first quarter anyway for Plymouth. Zebras with the basketball. A little trap in the corner. They give it over to Wilson. Loses the basketball. Picked up by Allen. Allen, right hand layup. Up no good, but a foul coming on Wilson, and that's going to be two. And Coach uh, Burris doesn't like that because still four minutes to go in the first quarter, and your point guard's got two fouls, Val. And Aubrey is somebody who you never have to worry about her defense. Usually, uh, yeah. with so many, so many kids, especially freshmen, they you know their offense dictates how their defense goes. With Aubrey still consistent yeah. defensively, tie ball game four to four. All four points for the Pilgrims have come from the free throw line. No field goal in the game yet. Second one is missed. Rebound fought for, and last touch by the Pilgrims. It'll be zebra basketball. Raylan Hunter will come in, and Wilson will sit down. So now the full court press put on as Wilson sits down. Uh, that is not a coincidence. No. Aubrey Wilson sits down and the opponent goes to a full court press. And now Mann, Riley Mann, is going to pick up a first foul, foul team first. Riley Mann, her as Mann was up on the ball and tried to knock it away from Clevenger and reached in. 3.59 to go, tied up four. Wilson, or excuse me, that's Bollinger, gets it into Clevenger. Clevenger down the sideline, now cuts it back over to the middle, breaks the press easy. Clevenger now will have the point. Left side over to McCarter. Rounder defender, pull-up jumper, six-footer. Just gets it over the front of the iron, and McCarter with four, and the Zebras lead six to four. Here's Jones with it for the Pilgrims. Jones goes to Allen. Allen right side. Allen brings it back over to Gantz. Gantz has it, top of the key against Hunter. Now right side over to Jones. Back up top to Gantz at the volleyball line. Gives it right back to Jones, trying to go down low to Mann. They get it at the elbow, no good. Rebound McCarter. Three Coach Burris says push. Three rebounds for Ellen McCarter already. They get it to Clevenger. Clevenger goes straight into Bollinger. Bollinger loses it, picks it back up. Goes down low to field, turnaround jumper. Too high off the back of the backboard. Man with the rebound. Here comes Plymouth looking to push. They get it up to Gantz, and it goes out of her hands, but last touch by McCarter as she was able to deflect it. It'll stay with Plymouth on the sideline. Eva Sheedy coming in also for Plymouth as sitting down will be Miller. And a couple of Sheedies over the years at Plymouth. They get it into Jones. Jones puts it on the floor to the paint. No good. Rebound McCarter. Six to four. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Zebras with the lead. Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger has it stripped from Gantz. A jump ball and it'll stay with Rochester. Gantz. Knocked it loose, and uh, Clevenger just kind of dove on it and tied it up, and Zebras will maintain. 2.49 to go here in this opening quarter. Zebras lead by two, six to four. McCarter gets the inbound in the backcourt. Again, man, look by the Plymouth Pilgrims, a switching man. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger into the paint, has it knocked loose right into Elena Allen's hands. Right hand layup this time is good. Alana Allen has three, and we're tied at six. Alana Allen has a second gear. Yeah. Actually, she's got a third gear. Clevenger with it in the backcourt. Zebra's going to have to hurry and get it across. They finally do to McCarter. Now McCarter trapped in the corner, and Sheedy's going to pick up a reach-in foul. foul. That's going to be her first, her first team second of the quarter. Second. It'll be Zebra basketball on the far sideline. Six to six with 2.18 to go here in the opening quarter. Two turnovers for each team so far. It seems like Rochester's paid a price on yeah. both of them. McCarter with the basketball. McCarter has it, jump stops, loses it, picks it back up, and now we're going to have a reach-in foul again by the Plymouth Over Pilgrims. Allen's going to pick up her first, team third, 
And they'll inbound it on the baseline this time as Clevenger will trigger it in. Clevenger gets the ball, slaps it, throws it over the top to McCarter. They get it right back to Clevenger. Clevenger around Sheedy, throws up a shot off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, man comes away with it. Now to Jones. Jones quickly ahead to Allen, down in the paint. They give it to Mann, Mann up and good to foul. Riley Mann gets her first points of the night. Basket counts, zebra foul, 25. And the foul is coming against Bollinger. It's going to be her first team. Fourth, Mann will shoot one free throw. Gantz comes out, and Sullivan is back in. Also, Mia Hadashel will come in for Bollinger. And a man will have one more free throw. It looks like if she makes this one, she'll come out after the make. Great pass by, I think it was Sheedy in the post there to a cutting man. Man's free throw is good. She's got three points, and she'll come out. And it's a 9-6 to six lead. And coming back in will be Sophie Miller. Again, full court press put on by the Pilgrims. Zebras looking to get it in. They get it to Bollinger. Or excuse me, to Field. Now to Hunter. Now back over to Hottershell, top of the key. Wide open McCarter. Three ball, left side. Off the mark, no good. And a rebound to Field. And up and good. And Jaden Field cuts it to a one point Plymouth lead. Nine to eight with a minute and a half to go. Well, that was a dangerous pass by Braylon Hunter. Yeah. But once she got it to Hottershell, Plymouth was on banana peels on that defensive possession. Jones has it. Jones, top of the key. Jones gives it off to Allen. Allen will dribble back over to the near side and leaves it for Sullivan. Sullivan trying to get it into Miller. Three ball for Jones on the way. No good. Sullivan with an offensive rebound. Over the top and a whistle coming. And that's going to be a foul on Jaden Field. It's going to be her first team fifth. So that will send Plymouth to the, to the line. So one possession after getting an offensive yeah. rebound and a bucket at the other end. Rochester cannot get a defensive rebound. And so the line goes Sophie Miller looking for her first points of the night. Plymouth with a one-point lead. Hard off the back of the iron. She'll have one more. Nine to eight. Minute 12 to go here in this first quarter on the Rochester glass and Kings Jewelry scoreboard. Free throw. In and out. No good. Rebound fought for. Field comes away with it. Field has it. Field to McCarter. McCarter gives it off to Clevenger. She's double teamed. She's got to dribble around. And now Miller going to pick up her first foul. And the team fourth. So with 61 seconds to go in the quarter, Riley Mann will come back in and Miller will sit down. This game has been officiated pretty tight so yeah, far. Yeah, it has. Uh, they're not allowing any hand checking so far. Clevenger has it in the backcourt. Gets it across with 55 seconds to go. Trapped is Hottishell. Hottishell looked to dribble through it, and the ball's knocked loose. Miller picks it up, gives it off to Jones, ahead to Sullivan. Great hands by Maddie Sullivan. Sullivan, now to Jones. Over to Mann on the right side. Mann drives the lane, throws up a shot, no good. And a foul coming, and if that's on field, that's going to be her second. And it is. Well, Jaden Field picks up her second foul. And that'll bring Bollinger back in after the first free throw by Alana Allen. Allen, one for two on her last trip. Short on that one. Nine to eight. And Bollinger does come in. Field sits down. So on the bench right now for Rochester, Wilson and Field, each with two fouls. 41.2 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Back off the iron, no good. And Allen misses both of them. The Zebras have it. Down by one. 35 seconds. Plymouth now five for ten from the line. They started four for five. Yeah. Here's McCarter with it. Splits the defender. Gives it off to Clevenger. Now over the top to Hottishell. She'll fire a three ball. Short off the front of the iron. Rebound. Allen. Allen has it knocked loose. Picks it back up. Gets it to Jones somehow. Not a good shot. And 15 can... seconds to go. Plymouth has the basketball and the one-point lead. And the next arrow. And there's the tie-up. It'll stay with Plymouth. For Rochester, that's a break because they get the ball back to start the quarter. Is that the opposite of the announcer jinx, or the announcer anticipation? Yeah. No. So that they get the next what, arrow and then are you see it? we didn't immediately a jump ball. What is the power ball in my future? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the inbound pass to Sheedy up off the glass is good. Sheedy's got her first two points of the night, and that makes it a little three-point game. 
Here's Hottishell with it with two, Hottishell with one, and the Zebras aren't going to get a shot off. At the end of the first quarter, Plymouth Pilgrims 11, the Rochester Zebras 8 on the Rochester Glass and Kings Jewelry scoreboard back with the second quarter from Rochester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Here at Rochester High School as we get ready to start the second quarter. Plymouth leads 11 to 8. It'll be Zebra basketball. As the Zebras have it to start the quarter. McCarter now over to Clevenger. Clevenger between the rings. Gives it off to Bollinger. They kick it right side now to McCarter. Into Clevenger. Left side now to Hottishell. Hottishell dribbles between two. Knocked loose by Plymouth. Man picks it up. Gives it off to Jones. Jones with the basketball. Top the key. Jones right side. Over to Gantz. Back up top to Jones. Back to Gantz. Looking for Man or Sheedy down low. Sullivan has it left side over the top. Sullivan, or excuse me, the pass by Sullivan is stolen by Hottishell. Just Good not enough behind it. Maddie yeah. and Mia Hottishell did a great job of reading that pass. Clevenger. There have been very few three-point looks for Riley Clevenger yeah. tonight. And they're kind of running her off the line a little bit. I, Here's a three deep for Clevenger. That one goes. Clevenger. All right, Val, you're, you have the opposite going on tonight. The... <laughs> Opposite jinx as that pass is thrown way too far for Plymouth. It goes out of bounds, turnover Pilgrims as they uh, have it now tied at 11 with a minute going by here in the second quarter. Ugly start to the second quarter for Plymouth, two turnovers, neither of which was necessarily because of Rochester's yeah. defense. Clevenger with the basketball, Clevenger top of the key. Sophie Miller in that trapping as they forgot. There's a steal. Jones reads that pass. Layup uncontested, up and good. Lena Jones. Lena Jones with her first points of the night. Did exactly the same thing Mia Hottishell did on the other end, except for she was able to get a layup. Almost stolen again by Jones. Here's McCarter, 10-foot running jumper, no good. Bollinger has it, knocked loose by Mann. Mann gives it up to Vance, now to Jones. I thought McCarter got shoved in the back. Man has it in the paint and a whistle coming. And it's going to be a whistle Zebra against the Zebras. Number 25, Bollinger, now her second. So Bollinger and Field both with, with two in the post. And Wilson still on the bench with two as well for the Zebras. Over the top is Sullivan, now to Jones. And she'll bring it back up top and reset the Pilgrim offense. 6-10 to go here in the opening quarter. Gans has it. Goes right side down to Man. Man. Gives it off to Jones. Jones back to Sullivan, left side. Sullivan. Good defense by McCarter to yeah. fight through that. Uh, there's a screenplay that was designed to get Sullivan a look. Sullivan with the basketball. Again, double team throws over the top to Gantz on the right side. Now here's Jones straight away three. Too hard, no good. And McCarter thought she had it, but here come Mann flying in. But she knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with Zebras. Field will come in for Bollinger. And sitting Sheedy down will be Sheedy. And back in for Plymouth was um, Miller. Sophie Miller at the top of this 1-3-1. One, one. Goes left side now to Hottishell. Hottishell, double team, back to McCarter. Right side now to Clevenger. Clevenger tries to get back to McCarter. It's tipped by Miller. And McCarter will let it go out of bounds. It'll be Zebra basketball on the far side. 5.29 to go here before halftime. A two-point Plymouth lead, 13-11. to 11. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here from Rochester High School. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4. Clever. McCarter has it. Now trapped is Hottishell. Goes back to McCarter. She's double team. Trying to make that pass. Gets it to Clevenger. Straight away three for Riley off the mark. No good. Ball's tipped right into the hands of Riley Mann. Yeah, Clevenger was not kind of leaning into that shot. Sullivan on the other end, has the pass tip, picked up by Miller. Swing it back right side now to Jones. Jones into Miller again, and it's tipped by McCarter, but they're going to say it comes off the fingertips of Sophie Miller. Turnover Plymouth. Five turnovers for each team. Under five to go before halftime. Still a two-point contest on the Rochester Glass and Kings Jewelry scoreboard. Joel Burris looked at Aubrey Wilson on the bench, but didn't put her back <laughs> He's standing in the right in front of her. Yeah. Here's a... Corner elbow jumper by McCarter, no good. Plymouth with a rebound. Jones, three on two. They kick it out. Here's a three-pointer for Mangood. 
Riley Mann with three. 16 to 11. Got the three in transition there. First points in over two minutes for either team. 16 to 11, a five point Plymouth lead. And again, in that 1-3-1 one, one trap in the corner. As they come over the top to McCarter, right side, three pointer for McCarter off the back of the iron. Jones with a rebound, Jones will push. Jones now will wait on her teammates and she'll bring it back up top to Gantz. Gantz will run it to the right side, now to Jones. Go, to, go down low to Miller, back out to Gantz. Now they swing it left side to Sullivan. Plymouth still with the basketball and four minutes to go before halftime. Sullivan, left side, back door to Jones, wide open, layup up and good. Jones. And we have a timeout. Zebras want a timeout. It is a 60 second timeout. 3.48 to go on the Rochester Glass and Kings Jewelry scoreboard. 18 to 11, Plymouth leads. Giant FM and RTC TV4. The Zebra lineup during that timeout by Coach Burris. 3.48 to go, a seven point lead. The largest lead of the contest belongs to the Plymouth Pilgrims. Yeah, Rochester just struggling to get into their offense because of Plymouth's pressure. And... Zebras will need to hurry as they put the ball down. Elena Allen into the contest and and now we have confusion on the side as coach Burris talking to the referee a warning has been assessed to the Rochester bench got a warning on the Rochester sideline they go to put it in bounce the officials put it down they blew the second whistle and zebras weren't ready they put it down and I don't think coach Burris liked that there's Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger gets it across. Now she's trapped. Got to get it away. And she does to Hunter, and she's going to be tied up, and it'll go back to Plymouth. Jump ball position. Turns over to Plymouth. 18 to 11, 331 to go here before halftime, and it's Plymouth basketball on the turnover. Plymouth came out of that huddle even with even more energy yeah, than they had before. They did. Here is Gantz with the basketball. Now to Jones. Back to Gantz. Gantz has it right side. Top the key to Jones. Jones around a couple defenders, tries to go down low to Miller, and it's stolen by Field. Field to McCarter. McCarter looking to push. Don't give him a chance to set up that time. Now here's Wilson it's around the right top side. to Jones. Back over to Gantz. Tinley down low to, uh, to Sophie Miller. Right side now to Allen. Allen back to Jones, back to Allen. Trying to go down low to Mann. They can't get it to her. Now Plymouth will bring it back up top up to Jones. Jones at the volleyball line. Back over to Allen. Allen back to Jones left wing. Plymouth being very patient here where they have a five point lead with 2.20 to go before halftime. Into Miller. Miller has it. Back out to Allen. Now to Jones, top of the key. Jones back to Allen. Trying to get it into man, can't do so. Zebra's doing good defense there. Now a three on the way by Allen, rebounded by McCarter. And now Riley Mann gonna pick up her second foul. Riley Mann, her second. And it's gonna be first team first of the quarter. It'll be Zebra basketball out of bounds. And Sheedy will come back in. Again, I, I haven't seen Plymouth a ton this year, but uh, Alana Allen's thing, I don't think is shooting the three. No. I think she's, yeah. I really like her as a dynamic uh, uh, yeah, uh, ball handler and can, somebody can score off dribble penetration. And it'll stay with the Zebras underneath their own basket. I know she didn't make the shot, but <laughs> can you tell that Ellen McCarter and Riley Clevenger played a lot of basketball yeah. together? Knew right where she was on that wraparound yeah. pass. Zebras have it. Inbounding, baseline right. Looking, looking, they get into McCarter, down low off the glass, good. Uh, McCarter with her first points of the quarter. She has six in the game. It's down to a three-point Plymouth lead. Well, she owes uh, Jaden Fields some credit for that because Jaden yeah. drawing that jump ball to maintain the possession was big. Miller has it, dribbles in, looking to get rid of it. Now over the top to Gantz. Gantz to Jones. Jones dribbles in, sidesteps, goes up, no good. Rebound, McCarter. McCarter back to Clevenger. I think you'll take that shot if you're Coach yeah. Shaliol. That's a good shot by Jones, just didn't go. Minute 10 before halftime. Clevenger with it on the far side. Now back up top to McCarter. Back to Wilson. Wilson, top of the key, now to Clevenger. 60 seconds to go before halftime. Well, you can tell the offense is really stabilized since Aubrey Wilson was put back in the game. Wilson has it on the right side. She'll dribble back up top. Now off to McCarter. McCarter against Sheedy. Hands it to Clevenger. She'll pass it over to Wilson. Now she'll bring it back up top. 
45 seconds to go before halftime. 18-15, Plymouth lead by three. McCarter dribbles in and a quick whistle and a foul, foul on Sheedy. Her second, Her second, just team second, so you got a couple to give here yet with 38.9 seconds to go. Zebras will inbound. Hunter will trigger it. Hunter looking, looking, still looking. Now goes over the top, and it's knocked loose, and it'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester off the foot of Gantz. That was close. <laughs> Clevenger to get it in, in the backcourt town to McCarter with 35 seconds to go. Left side goes Rochester to Wilson, back up top to the middle, and an offensive foul, number three on Wilson. Kind of lowered her shoulder a little bit there. She tried to go, and the official right in front of the official calls an offensive foul, and Mia Hadeshell is going to have to come in. And Coach Shalio making some quick changes as well. Riley Mann and Sullivan in. With 27.7 seconds to go, Wilson goes to the bench with three. And Sheedy goes to the bench with two for Plummet. Allen with it on the right side. Allen back door to Sullivan. Now she'll dribble it back out top to Jones. Jones back over to Allen. Over to Miller. Sophie Miller turn around. Jumper is good. Jumper was good for Miller. Her first points of the night, 20 to 15 with five. Riley Clevenger, a little floater. No. Man with the rebound, here's Jones. Jones, three-quarter court shot, ooh, off the front of the rim. And that'll do it for the first half here at Rochester High School. Plymouth leads 20 to 15 at halftime. Original half five on the floor for Rochester. Clevenger, Wilson, McCarter, Bollinger, and a field. The original five for Plymouth as well. Gantz, Jones, Miller, uh, Sullivan, and Mann. As we get started, it'll be Plymouth basketball. Plymouth going to... Uh, left to right on the radio dial. Zebras go right to left this time. Here is Plymouth again, top of the key. Rochester in that 2-3 zone. Plymouth trying to make some things work here as they set screens and move around. Man with the basketball. Now to Gantz on the left side. They go down low to Miller. She kicks it back out, throws it over the top of Jones. It's going to be a turnover in the backcourt for the Plymouth Pilgrims. Good defense that time by the Zebras, 28 seconds into it. So it'll be Zebra basketball here at the midcourt. Have it right side now to McCarter. McCarter, jump stop, gives it off to Clevenger. Left side now to Wilson. Wilson looking down low at field, can't get it to her. Now they'll take it up top, right side to McCarter. McCarter downhill, kicks it out. Wilson, three ball on the way, off the back of the iron and up and over the backboard, it'll be out of bounds. Nella went over, patted Aubrey on the back, saying, you know, yeah. keep shooting that. Because Ella kind of passed up her own 15-footer yeah. to get Aubrey a look. So. Plymouth with a basketball. Here's Gantz. Left side now to Miller. Back up top to Gantz. One minute gone by here in the third quarter. 20-15 to 15, still our score. Gantz has it. Left side goes. Now in the corner to Jones. Three on the way for her. Way off the mark. Rebound fought for and Sullivan comes away with it. Sullivan down low to man. Kicks it back out to Miller. She drives in. Loses it. Ball's loose. Tipped ahead by Wilson, and Jones will go begin it in the backcourt. What a bad break for Rochester. Field had the rebound, went through her hands, yeah. and went off Clevenger's leg, and went right to Riley Mann. Look what I found. Here's Sullivan with it for the Pilgrims. Top of the key now to Jones. She goes to Mann, kicks it out to Gantz. Now back up top to Jones. Back to Gantz. Mann has it, or Miller has it. Now to Jones. Penetrates in. Out to Gantz. Three ball in motion. Banks it in. Gantz with six, and it's now a 23-15 Plymouth Pilgrim lead. That was just an absolute missile off the back. <laughs> it was. Here is Wilson with the basketball, now to Clevenger. Back to Wilson, right side. Into McCarter at the free throw line. Out to Clevenger, three on the way for her. Good. Clevenger with her second three. She's got eight, and it's 23-18. Excellent pass by Ella McCarter. 5.45 to go here in the third. 23-18, Plymouth still leads. Here's Miller with it. Miller around McCarter to the baseline. Now stops, kicks it back out to Gantz. Gantz, right back to Miller. Miller, she'll dribble it back up and give it to Jones, top the key. Right side now to Sullivan. Trying to go into Mann at the block. They can't get it to her. Mann's working side to side, kind of a triangle. 
in that paint. Over the top to Miller. Miller around McCarter. Miller pulls up, turnaround jumper, good. Good looking shot by Sophie. Wow, she's smooth. That was pretty impressive. Here's McCarter down the other end, jump stop way off the mark. Field with a rebound, back up and good. Field has four. And it's a 25-20 score here on the Kings Jewelry Rochester Glass scoreboard. Gantz left side now to Sullivan. Cross court pass, tipped by Field and stolen. Jaden Field read that pass and was able to get a good tip on it and secured it. She's going to be a special player here. Here's Wilson, right side. Wilson head fakes, goes to the hole, throws up a jumper, no good, gets her own rebound, back up and good. Wilson. Wilson with her first points. And it's down to a three point Plymouth lead, 25 22. For a girl with three fouls, Aubrey Wilson not playing timidly. <laughs> no. Sullivan. In fact, she's more aggressive this half than she was in the first half. Gantz left side to Miller. Miller has the basketball. Top of the key, Gantz calls out the play, calls for a screen. She gets it around the screen. Two ball on the way, no good. McCarter with another rebound. Four minutes to go in the third. 25-22, Rochester pushes. Wilson, now to Clevenger, back to Wilson, right side. Penetrates, throws up a shot, no good. Loose rebound, Bollinger back up off the glass and good. Timeout, Plymouth. It's a 60. 3.49 to go here in the third quarter. 25-24, Plymouth leads by one. You're listening to Plymouth Basketball and Zebra Basketball, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School, Plymouth with the basketball after the timeout. And they have it knocked loose, picked back up by Jones. Jones has it. I would have a, well, part of the reason why Coach Shalio called the timeout was to get Alana Allen back in the game. Yeah. Well, they really missed her. Yeah, Jones and with I it. would imagine the other like 59 seconds of the timeout we used to talk about <laughs> rebounding. Yeah. Because Rochester with three straight putbacks. Right. Here's Sullivan, straightaway three, off the mark, no good. McCarter with a big rebound. Off to Clevenger. Clevenger with it. Quickly ahead to Wilson. Wilson will square up for a three, off the mark, no good. Jones has the rebound. Jones ahead to Mann. Mann catches off the glass, got the bounce. Riley Mann has eight. 27-24, back to a three-point game. That was a very athletic play by Riley Mann. Pressure put on by the Pilgrims in the backcourt. Now Clevenger with it. Clevenger picks up her dribble. Now goes over the top to Wilson. Wilson goes right side. Wilson down low to Bollinger. Bollinger kicks it back out to McCarter. McCarter at the volleyball line. Has it with 2.25 to go here in the third. McCarter gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger forced back to the middle by Miller. Clevenger with a running jumper. No good. Bollinger rebound back up and good. Battle down low, and it's 27-26. Another putback. Plymouth with a one-point lead. Passes tipped right in the hands of Mann. Off her foot, picked up by Clevenger. Two minutes to go in the third. Zebras could take the lead for the first time. Zebras have it. Top of the key. Clevenger will bring it back up and reset. She goes right side now to McCarter. McCarter out to Wilson. She'll square up for a three. Got it. Aubrey Wilson's got five in the quarter. And now it's a two-point zebra lead, 29-27. Ellen McCarter might get a triple-double before her career is done. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to get one tonight. but Now into the corner goes Jones for the Pil Pilgrims. Back up top to Sullivan. Foot was on the line, two-pointer, good for Sullivan. Two -point her first Sullivan. points of the night. Tied at 29. Here's McCarter. She'll bring it up the timeline. You told me it was 29-29 with 1.15 to go in the fourth quarter. I would have believed you. I don't think third quarter. Yeah. Here's Field up yeah. and good in the foul. Jaden Field with a big move. Draws the foul. First foul of the half. Miller picks up her second. Team first of the quarter. 
Sheedy comes in and Miller will sit down for Plymouth. And now Jaden Field will go to the line to shoot the old fashioned three point play. This kid's going to be special. I'm gonna re I know I'm repeating myself, but. Free throws in and out, no good. She's going to work on free throw shooting still. With the but rebound to Sullivan. She'll square up for a three, way off the mark. McCarter with the rebound. McCarter gives it off to Clevenger under a minute. Two point zebra lead here in the third. Clevenger going to the hole, throws up a shot, no good. Allen gets the rebound. Allen sees Jones ahead. Jones squares up for a three, got it. Three point basket, Lena Jones. Seven for Jones. And now it's a one point Plymouth lead, 32 31 with 35 seconds to go. Sometimes a bad shot is just like a turnover. And that was Coach Burris wants one shot here with 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Wilson dribbles around to Clevenger. Now off to McCarter. 19 seconds to go. Rochester with the next arrow. Clevenger, she'll fire it with 14. Off the mark. Field with the rebound and a foul coming. That one's going to be on to Maddie Sullivan. Sullivan will pick up her first team second. And that will send Jaden Field back to the free throw line to shoot two. The thing is, Rochester has not shot a great percentage this quarter. No. But <laughs> Just a lot of them. They made hay on the because of their offensive rebounding. Free throws missed by Field. Hunter will come in for Wilson so she doesn't pick up the fourth foul with 11.8 seconds to go. Uh, Sullivan out as well for Plymouth. And I believe it was uh, 22 coming in. Free throw was good. We're tied at 32. Plymouth has it with five. Jones has it. Jones down low to Sullivan. Back out to Jones. Jones and they, Plymouth will not get a shot at the quarter buzzer. 32, 32, all squared up. Here as we head to the fourth and final quarter at Rochester High School on the Jennings, Inch, or excuse me, on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard and the Kings Jewelry Scoreboard. Back with more fourth quarter, Dying FM and RTC TV4. Back here, Rochester High School. Zebras have it to start the fourth quarter. Tied at 32. McCarter tries to hold that pivot foot. Can't do it. And it's a turnover with just 10 seconds gone by in the fourth. Well, I was just going to say, Rochester won the entire third quarter without committing a turnover, and then 10 seconds into the fourth, they commit one. That is number eight for Rochester, nine turnovers for Plymouth. 32-32. Plymouth with the basketball to start. Rochester did not commit a foul in the no. third quarter as well. So whatever foul trouble they were dealing with at halftime has been kind of Here. alleviated. Allen with it, gives it off to Jones. Jones gives it back over to Craig Baum. I'm assuming 22 is Craig Baum off the JV roster. Craig Baum with a basketball. Now off to Allen. Allen with it. Allen has it. Allen back to Craig Baum. Back up at the top. Now to Jones. Jones into man, elbow jumper good. Riley Mann, the lone senior on this team besides the foreign exchange student doing what she needs to do to help her team. Seven minutes to go, 34-32, Plymouth by two. Nice pass by Jones too. Here's Clevenger, here's a three for Hunter. Off the mark, no good, ball's tipped. Jones with a rebound. Jones has it, Jones. Will dribble down, give it off to Allen in the corner. Allen gets a screen. She'll bring it back up top. Now to Craig Baum. Back to Allen. Good, Allen. Good transition D there by Rochester. Now to Craig Baum against mm -hmm. Hunter. Coach Shalyol wants this game up and down. She wants a hectic yeah. game. Craig Baum. Now to Allen. Allen tries to go around McCarter. Cuts her off. Back up top. Here's Mann. Mann around Clevenger. Leaves it down low for Sheedy. Throws up a shot. No good. And... Field with a rebound. That's five rebounds for Jaden Field. Here comes McCarter with it. McCarter jump stops. McCarter looking, looking. Can't get it to anybody. And now goes through Hunter's hands. Turnover. <laughs> Substitution all the way for Plymouth, and that'll be Returning Gantz. Plymouth, number 12, Gantz. And so. for the Zebras, number two, also, Wilson. Wilson back in. As she was sitting for... A few try not to pick up that fourth foul. Allen's going to get a breather here, but I think she'll be back. Yeah. So six minutes to go in the court in the game. 
34-32, Plymouth leads by two. Down to the corners, Jones against Hunter. She throws it off at Gant's foot. I think Jones got a little frustrated as Hunter was kind of putting a little pressure on her. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a good pass, but it was a good defensive pressure by Rochester as well. So Wilson will have it. She'll bring it across the timeline. 34-32, still our score. Plymouth by two. 5.40 to go in the contest. McCarter has it. McCarter, left side, trying to go to Bollinger. Gets it to her at the block. Travels, yep. She took that little baby hop. She picked it up and kind of hopped around. Turnover, Rochester. Miller will come back in for Plymouth. And Sheedy will sit down. Plymouth basketball on the Rochester Glass Kings Jewelry scoreboard. 34-32. Plymouth leads by two. Got to get Sophie Miller a touch here. Now they go to Jones. Jones over to Craig Baum. Craig Baum, far side. Back to Jones, top of the key. Back to Craig Baum. They're looking down low to get it to Miller. They can't. Zebra's doing a good job. They get it into man. Back up top. Here's Jones straight away. Three off the mark. No good. Rebound, McCarter. McCarter quickly out to Clevenger. That was, Clevenger. A, big time. That was a big time rebound. That was not an easy rebound to get. To Wilson. Now to McCarter. Left wing. McCarter tries to go around Gantz. Stops her at the free throw line or the baseline. Now kicks it back over to Clevenger. The give and go to Bollinger. Up off the glass, short rebound, front four, and last touch by Riley Mann. It'll stay with Rochester underneath their own basket. Well, you gotta like the aggressiveness from Audrey Bollinger. She's been kind of struggling a little bit from the field in recent games, but a couple buckets on putbacks, and she's really getting after here. Hunter to inbound. They get it into McCarter. McCarter into the paint, throws up a jumper, way off the mark. Rebound fought for it. Gans comes yeah. away with it. You know, Ella passed up a shot earlier in the possession yeah. along the left baseline where, and I, I think she tried to make up for there. I, I, the first shot she passed up was easier than the one she just missed. Gans has it. Now off to Jones. Jones with the basketball over the top. Here's Craig Baum for three. Way off the mark again. Jones with the rebound, throws it back in, and it's stolen by Wilson and a foul on Craig Baum. Craig Baum going to pick up her first. 22. Oh, Warner, okay. My apologies, it's Warner. Olivia Warner. Back on the floor for the Zebras, number 15. So the foul coming against Olivia Warner. So the Zebras will inbound. That's Warner's first, team first of the heck quarter. Still a two-point lead, still 34-32. We've kind of got a stallmate here. McCarter with it, now to Clevenger. Clevenger top the key to Wilson. Wilson around the left side, kicks it back out to Clevenger. Clevenger drives into the paint, kicks it up top to McCarter. McCarter dribbles in, out to field, 15-footer good. Field with her first points of the quarter, and we're tied at 34. That might be the longest shot she's hit in her varsity yeah. career, but a good 15-footer, nothing but net. 34-34, 3.45 to go. Here is Gantz with it, top to Jones. Jones to Warner now. Warner holds. Warner gives it in to Miller. Kicks it out to Jones. Three for Jones, good. Three point basket, Jones. Jones now in double digits. She has 10. 37 34, three point Plymouth lead. Boy, she's tough. Lena Jones. Go right side now to Wilson. Wilson, top of the key, left side now to McCarter. 3.15 to go in the contest. Right side to Clevenger. Clevenger has it. Clevenger backs it up. Plymouth in that man defense. And Coach Burris wants a timeout. It is a full timeout with 3.04 to go. Two undefeated teams left in the conference are Northridge and Warsaw. Okay. And those two teams will meet at the Tiger Den on Saturday night. It'll be a big one. Northridge 17-1 on the year. Only lost to Homestead. McCarter with it, the give and go to Bollinger. Bollinger at the block, turn around, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound fought for, Warner has it. Here comes the Plymouth Pilgrims, leading by three. Jones has it, now off to Warner. Warner goes into Miller. Miller tied up by Field, and I think uh, Coach Shalio wanted a foul, but didn't get one. And so now it'll be... I think she wanted, or did she want a timeout? And Do we get a timeout? I'm not sure. There's confusion. It's a 30-second timeout. Coach Shalio calls a 30-second timeout with 2.38 to go. Knox tomorrow night, and that's obviously a game if you're a Rochester fan, you're interested in both of those 
teams in Rochester sectional. Apparently Plymouth got the timeout before the jump ball. The arrow still in Plymouth favor. Yeah, that was big because it saves the arrow for later. Gantz has it, top of the key, 2.25 to go. Plymouth running like a triangle type offense here. Warner has it back to Jones. They want Miller and Mann on the same side of the floor. Gantz goes in to Miller, kicks it out to Jones. Jones goes around field, throws up a jumper, gets the bounce, no good. Rebound fought for it, still loose. McCarter comes away with it. Now it's tipped by Miller. Miller, up and under, good. Sophie, Sophie Miller did not quit on that play. And she gives her team a five-point lead, 39-34 with under two to go. Huge play by Sophie Miller. I mean, she, she was a one-person press there. Clevenger has it on the far side. Clevenger back over to McCarter. McCarter right side now to Clevenger. Clevenger dribbles in, leaves a wide-open field. Left-hand left, good. Jaden Field with two more. 39-36 over the top two. Man. Riley Mann has it. 90 seconds remaining. We talked about Plymouth being able to finish these late games. They give up a wide open layup there. 39-36. Gantz with the basketball down to Jones. Rochester with four fouls to give. Off they to Gantz. Has it in the corner. Quickly back up to Jones. Over the top to Warner. Warner will dribble it back out. Minute 10. I think Coach Burris wants to start fouling. As Jones has it. Now to a wide open. Miller down low. Up and good. Miller. Caught the Zebras napping, and it's 41-36, under a minute to go. McCarter quickly down the floor. Here's Clevenger with it. Back to McCarter, left wing. McCarter, baseline, up off the glass, no good. Into the hands of Gantz. Gantz has it, and she's going to be fouled by McCarter. And that's going to be McCarter's second team first of the quarter. I think Ella would like to have that one back. She made a yeah. great drive but could not finish. Full court press put on by the Zebras. Miller, excuse me, Mann gets it into Gantz. Now McCarter commits another foul. That's her Zebra third, foul, team second. 41.2 seconds remaining in the contest, 41-36. Right. Rochester won the first 15-plus minutes of this half without committing a foul. Mann over the top to Miller. Miller has it. Now to Jones with 35 seconds. Jones to Gantz. Back to Jones. Jones is going to be fouled by Clevenger. Riley's first. Only the team third. Foul, number 41-36. 31.3 seconds to go. Gantz has it. Gantz looking to get it in for Plymouth. Gantz gets it right into Jones. Jones has it knocked loose, but a quick whistle on a field. And that's going to be on field, her third team fourth. So after that one, now Rochester will shoot, or excuse me, Plymouth will shoot at the next foul. Gantz gets it into Jones. Jones has it, and she's going to be fouled by. I think Wilson got her first. I was going to say, who got her first? Zebra foul, number two. Yep, Wilson. they are I'm going to call it on Wilson, her fourth. Team fifth, and that will send Lena Jones to the line to shoot two. She's got 10 on the night. Make it 11. 42-36. Timeout, Rochester. It's a 60-second timeout. We'll be back with free throws. And the final 27 seconds here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Jones has her second free throw. It's up and no good. Rebound battled for, and Bollinger comes away with it. 23 seconds to go, 42-36. Zebras push, Clevenger with the basketball. Now to McCarter, back to Clevenger. She'll fire a three left side, good. Timeout, Coach Burris. Clevenger gets a three, cuts the lead to three. 42-39, a 30-second timeout. Coming up at the uh, conclusion in tonight's game in the post game, brought to you by Essence Spa and Salon and by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, excuse me, by Perkins and Adley, we'll have uh, the player of the game by Quick Slains and by Fulton County Community Foundation coming up at the conclusion. 42-39, Plymouth gets it in, and they get it in to Miller, and Miller's quickly fouled. 
I don't think that was Wilson, though she was in the neighborhood. And it is. It is Wilson. And that will end the evening for Aubrey Wilson. She ends the night with five fouls and five points. And so Hunter will come in for her. And that will send. Looks like Sophie Miller at the line shooting two free throws. Rattles the first one home. She's now one for three from the free throw line. 43-39, and Coach Burris wants another timeout. It's a, another 30-second timeout. Uh, you, they do have one. They do have their delay of game warning, <laughs> which you, <laughs> I'm not going to comment on whether that's good sportsmanship that you use a delay of game <laughs> warning on purpose, but if you do put, commit a delay of game, it is a warning. It's not a technical, yeah. no matter how obvious. Miller's second free throw is good. 44-39, a five-point lead. Here's McCarter. McCarter quickly down the floor. McCarter then is going to be fouled, and that is only going to be the second foul of the quarter for Plymouth. Jones picks up her first, team second. See, that's, an, uh, that's the unfortunate thing yeah. with the rule change of the quarter's uh, fouls, able to do that. And you could do, still you, has two more fouls yeah, to give. Yeah, got two more to give. 6.1 seconds to go. Hunter to take it out. Hunter, Hunter trying to get it in, can't get it in. It's going to go all the way across, and Gantz will pick it up. Gantz has the basketball with three, gives it off to Jones, and Plymouth will sneak out of here with a win tonight, 44-39 over the Rochester Zebras. Again, on the Rochester Glass and Kings Jewelry scoreboard, the final, 44-39. We'll be back with the postgame show being brought to you tonight by Essence Spawn Salon and by Perkins and Adley, the law firm for your current and future legal needs. Back with more from Rochester High School here on Giant FM and RTC TV 4.